So I'm getting these DMs now, these messages from people saying, Kevin, Solana NFTs reached the bottom. The bottom's in. All-time highs are very near. Get in while you still can. You're off on your game. You're getting old. What's going on? And all these things. These are real DMs that I'm getting over on Twitter and Discord. And, may, and maybe I am wrong. Maybe I'm off on this one. Maybe Father Time has finally caught up to me. I don't think so, though. I think I'm looking at the right chart, and you guys are looking at Soul Sniper. Let's pull up the charts real quickly. So, yeah, Solana NFTs are doing major things right now. I'm impressed. They're doing around 20 to 50% each one of them, especially the major topics that we've talked about. The God, Solana Monkey Business, Utes, Tayo, all of these that we mentioned previously. ABC is doing nice things. All of the ones that we talked about on this channel. So if you follow this channel, subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. But everyone's looking at the wrong chart, and that's what I want to talk about today. There's only one thing that matters, and I'm going to show you that today. So it's fantastic if you're getting a hard on from all these green candles that you're looking at on Soul Sniper. That's fantastic. I get it. You haven't been touched in a long time. You're reaching out to the nearest thing that's going to get you a little bit of a hard on. And this is it. Great. Good for you. But I'm not here to talk about these green candles, these appreciations from these great projects. Look, I love them and I adore them just as much as the next guy. But there's only one thing that matters. And that's the price of Solana. Now the price of Solana is piggyback on the price of Bitcoin. If you're not watching Bitcoin, then you don't really know what's going on. Now, Bitcoin is piggyback on the price of the S&P 500. If you're not watching the S&P 500, if you're not watching Bitcoin, if you're not watching the price of Solana, which if I move my big head, it's at $12.09. Things are looking good for it. There's still a lot more pain ahead because of the collapse of FTX, because of the investments of Alameda Research and FTX Capital. See, this is a series of dominoes, a series of house of cards. So much more downside and revelations are up ahead. Now, I'm not saying Solana is going to go to zero. No, the tech's still there. Anatoly Yakovanka, the founder, is still being active on Twitter. The active users is increasing for Solana. The speed is still unmatched, even though Aptos and Sui, these other layer one blockchains, look like they might be doing a comeback in the short term. Look like that they have great backers behind them. Look like they, that they weren't affected by this FTX collapse as much as Solana. I still think Solana is going to be here. But you have to look at the price of Solana. You have to look at the price of Bitcoin, the S&P 500. If you think the S&P 500 has reached its low for this year and it's going to do a comeback, then sure, why not? Why not say the bottom for Solana might be in? A lot of people, a lot of smart people, better than me, that aren't wearing a stupid-ass hat, are saying that the bottom for the S&P 500 is not in yet. That a recession is imminent, especially as we enter the new year. That quarter one of the next year is going to be painful. And even if it's not, a lot of other smart people are saying Bitcoin hasn't reached its bottom yet. If we look at the weekly, I mean, things just aren't looking good. We can't just be calling the bottom whenever we feel like it, just to get optimistic. This year has been shown to be painful. A year where cash is king. A year where everyone that calls a bottom looks like a fool because we just don't know. It's catching a falling knife. So I'm not going to be that guy to say that the bottom is in already and let's go all out. I'm going to wait for a little bit more of a conviction play to say that the Solana bottom might be in, or if anything, or if anything, that the bull market isn't far ahead. I'm not, I'm not here trying to bottom call. I'm here, if anything, trying to make an entry point to where I'm confident with Solana that the damage that we saw with the FTX collapse is hopefully over. And we're not there yet. It just happened a couple of weeks ago. So I needed some time. I need at least a month, maybe two months to see where things are truly at. Now, that's great if you're getting a hard on from these Solana NFTs that are doing Big things. That's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I'm still bullish on a lot of these projects. I'm bullish on Dust, which is doing great things as well. Trust me, I'm watching all of these vigorously. But this is a different time. These prices are just going back to the value that we saw before the FTX collapse. Looking at Solana floor, as you can see over here, yes, the Solana floor price for these blue chip NFTs has increased. It looks nice. Trust me, I'm excited. But 
the USD value, the pink over here, has been doing so well. Things are looking kind of ruddy right now. That's what you have to pay attention to. That's what's critical right now. Now, some of you already know this. Some of you are doing great in the sidelines as well, watching patiently, accumulating cash, putting things onto your watch list, deciding what entry point you're going to make when you're confident that Solana is going to be back in the runnings. That's fantastic. And that's why I want to be here on this channel for you. I don't want to sell you hopium. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to be a Sam Bankman freed stare at you and I and say, things are all right. No, not yet. Not yet. We're almost there. We're not giving up. We're not quitting on Solana NFTs, but we're not there yet. All right. A little bit of a speech over there, but I want to also give you some highlights and other things that I'm looking at. Number one, shill and villain, Alex. Finally, the Twitter gods have answered. Elon himself has came down and struck this account. Now, I know he's got a big following and everyone wants to post their question mark on their Twitter name. Seem all tough like they're part of this Alex cult. That's good. If you guys do a circle jerk, fantastic. I'm not here to ruin the parade, but I think it was a little immature for what he was doing on this space. Now I get I'm not here to be the Twitter police, but damn, sometimes I'm reminded about how young the crowd is for these DGENs on Solana NFTs because that was annoying seeing the Twitter spaces that Alex would host. But nonetheless, Alex himself made a comeback under a new Twitter handle at no promises ever music question mark. Making a comeback, clearly this is Alex with all of the tweets that he's posting right now. I mean, we all saw it coming. We all knew this dude would be back. So good on you, Alex. Fantastic. Now, I don't want this to steer you away from things that are still happening in this space. Number one, Clanosaurus, a mint that's coming up very shortly, I think roughly in a month from now. It's been a year in the making. We've been talking about this NFT collection on this channel for quite some time. And finally, the mint is just right around the corner. January 1st, I believe, a new year, new NFT collection, and hopefully a new convicted blockchain. But we'll see. So don't keep your eyes, don't sleep away from Clanosaurus. Clanosaurus, chances are going to do big things for the new year. One of the top mints for Q1 of new year. You heard it here first. Dust Protocol, as I said, be vigilant about this. Don't, don't fade Frankie D, guys. I mean, everything that he's doing for this Solana NFT space, he's here to stay. And at the same time, if he switches to Ethereum, Dust Protocol seems like it's a conviction of a SaaS product. So I'm bullish on Dust Protocol and seeing where it's going to go. It's never been this low. I mean, we saw it here at $3.15 when the Utes Mint was happening. I mean, that wasn't even too long ago. So if you know a project on Ethereum, down the road will be minting because Frank the Gods has mentioned that time and time again that there's going to be another collection similar to the Utes on the Ethereum blockchain. If you know that's going to happen, then it leads us to wonder what the price of dust will be at that time frame. Now might be a smart time to accumulate dust if you're interested in that. Again, the macro is where I want to be at. The macro is where I'm watching all of my calls. And so I won't make any entry point until I get more conviction on the macro. The macro is everything for me. Now, that's pretty much it. Again, haven't entered the market yet. Haven't bought a Solana NFT since I sold everything back when Solana was 32 and I was hearing rumors about FTX. More big things are down the road. Obviously, guys, understand this is weird times. Yes, these projects that we've talked about on this channel, ABC, Ute, Solana Monkey Business, the ones that we mentioned time and time again are doing good. So if you're still in the market, you're still trading, just accumulate those blue chips while you still can. Mouse in the house, I don't know what the hell Mouse in the house is doing on smart money inflow. I mean, we're just in weird times. Maybe there's something that I don't know about. And Blocksmith Labs, smart money outflow. Absolutely weird times. Blocksmith Labs, smart money outflow, but you got Mouse in the house, smart money inflow. Things are weird out there. So that's pretty much it. Side talk here on this beautiful weekend on Saturday with your boy, Have You Met Machi. Here, Wednesdays and Fridays, apparently... But I sneak in on Saturdays whenever I feel like it. Follow me on Twitter at HaveYouMetMachi where I post all my tweets. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord and the Digits family. The chat's still active. The NFT collection, even despite all of this FUD that's happened during the whole macro level news of things, if the FTX collapse and prices of Bitcoin going down, Digits ecosystem is still building. They're still building. Colin's doing big things. You got Rick over there. Pretty much taking up more responsibility as time continues. So proud to see the ecosystem growing. NFTs 
or over on OpenSea. Grab one if you want to be more active over on the Discord. Guys, if your boy have you met Machi, thank you all so much for watching. Take care.